Hi everyone, today we're going to be classifying the platonic solids using the power of graph theory. So we have a table over here and our job is going to be to derive this table. So let me define what the platonic solids are for you. First of all, we have that they, they are polyhedra or polyhedrons and each vertex has the same degree. What that means is that each vertex has to have the same number of edges coming out of it. And secondly, each face is a regular polygon. So in particular, that implies that the degree of F are all the same. By degree, in this case, uh, since we don't have any uh, what we call our one-faced one uh, edges, they're all two-faced edges, um, it, what I mean by degree is that the number of edges on the boundary of the face. So if you look at this table we have DV and DF. So this degree I'm going to call DV and this this degree I'm going to call DF. And we're just going to be working with uh, the skeletons of these um, of these polyhedra. So let me give you an example. We have the cube looks like this and its skeleton looks like this. It's called a, a Schegel diagram and I'm not going to prove this but all platonic solids have a planar embedding. And by platonic solids, I'm referring to the skeletons. So now that we know, now that we can assume that, we can use the power of planar graphs. And in particular, we're going to use the Euler characteristic of planar graphs. First of all, we're going to look at this sum, which is the sum of the degrees of the vertices. V is in capital V, and that's just equal to the number of vertices times the degree of each vertex. And we know that from a different video, we know that this is equal to two times the number of edges. This is called a handshaking lemma. And by the handshaking lemma for faces, which is which I also treated in a different video is equal to the sum of the degrees of the faces over all faces in big F. And that's just equal to capital F times the degree of F, the, the universal degree of the faces. So this tells us that V dV is equal to 2E is equal to F dF. And I'm just going to write this in a slightly different form, which is V over 1 over dv, you'll see why this is useful in a second, is e over 1 over 2 is equal to f over 1 over df. Now we've got these proportions here. Something I want to remind you of from the theory of proportions is that if we have a over b is equal to c over d, then we find that a over b is equal to c over d is equal to a plus c over b plus d is equal to a a minus c over b minus d as long as we're never dividing by zero. So what that allows us to do is write this as v minus e plus f over 1 over dv minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over df 
and by Euler characteristic the numerator is equal to 2 so we have 2 up here and below we have again 1 over dv minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over df and now if, if you do some fudging uh, this technique is called fudging you clear the denominators and you use what some people called uh, factoring and fudging or Simon's favorite factoring trick you find that this is 4 dv df over 4 minus dv minus 2 df minus 2 so you can check that these two are equivalent alright so we're getting close now this quantity is equal to each of these quantities that means V can be written in terms of DV DF and so can E and so can F so it's really these two numbers that we need to figure out and then we can figure out V we can figure out E and we can figure out F so we need to find all the possible DVs and DFs now notice that the, the denominator must be positive so we must have 0 is less than strictly less than dv minus 2 df minus 2 so that means dv sorry 4 minus that so that means dv minus 2 df minus 2 is less than 4 and since this is an integer that means dv minus minus 2 df minus 2 is less than or equal to 3 and dv is greater than or equal to to 3 because each vertex has to have at least three edges coming out of it and each face must have at least three edges on its boundary so this is greater than or equal to 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 and that's just equal to 1 so dv minus 2 times df minus 2 can equal to 1 2 or 3 and now this is a simple Diophantine equation and you can solve for each of these to find several solutions and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show the exact way of doing it because that's a number theory problem not a geometry problem but we find that dv df is equal to either 3 3 3 4 4 3 3 5 or 5 3 and from that you can find V E and F as I outlined earlier so take a look at the table that I pasted before this table shows all the possibilities so there are at most five platonic solids and by geometric construction we can prove that they they all exist in 3d thanks for watching and I'll see you next time